What is going on, Ada Nation? Welcome to DAP Central. My name is Farid, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down some recent updates in the launch of a brand new NFT collection done by the Matera Protocol. If it's your first time hearing about Matera, they're going to be a decentralized index protocol building on Cardano, and they're getting ready for their upcoming testnet, as well as their ISPO in just a couple of weeks. Now, as a part of today's video, we're going to be touching on the details and the utility of the Matera White NFT collection. And if you're not aware, this team already has, I believe, two other NFT collections, which include the Matera Black and the Matera Blue. We'll jump into some of the updates surrounding that in just a minute. Now, towards the end of the video, I do also want to give you guys some brief updates surrounding the development of the protocol and exactly who the team has been collaborating with over the course of the last couple of months. As always, if you guys appreciate content like this surrounding the top builders on Cardano, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me surrounding Matera and their developmental progress, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. Jumping back over here, again, the official website is available at matera.io. But as I mentioned earlier, the main focus of today's video will be the Matera White NFT collection. Now, backing up just a little bit, they do have two other collections. The first is going to be known as the Matera Black, which will give you access to claim 1.1 million of the Matera tokens upon their TGE or token generation event. As it stands right now, there's only a supply of four of those NFTs currently available. Now, they also had a follow-up NFT collection, which was labeled the Matera Blue, and those will give you access to 8,800 of the Matera tokens, again, upon TGE, with a total supply of about 1,355 of them. Both of these collections are currently minted, and they can be bought or traded using a centralized exchange, or excuse me, a decentralized platform like the JPEG.store marketplace. Now, with respect to the Matera White, which is going to be the main focus of today's video, there's going to be a total of 1,500 of these NFTs, giving you 6,450 of the Matera tokens upon the actual claim or the TGE event. Now, if you're not already following the Matera team on Medium, I'll leave the official link to their blog down below. But let's go ahead and jump into today's article, breaking down all of the information surrounding the Matera White NFT. So it reads here, after successfully fundraising through the Matera Black and Matera Blue NFTs, we are pleased to announce the newest addition to our NFT lineup, the Matera White NFT. Now, Matera White's collection will consist of 1,500 brand new utility NFTs, each of them yielding 6,450 of the Matera tokens over a six-month vesting schedule once their token generation occurs, and they'll also give you an additional boost to eligible ISPO participants. Now, when it comes to the actual value of the Matera token and their fully diluted valuation or their FDV, we can expect a going rate of each token being valued at 0.024 ADA per token. That'll give them a 24 million um, ADA FDV or fully diluted valuation. Now, their ISPO will include boosts for each epoch which you stake and extra allocations for NFT holders. Now, they'll be partnering up with different ISPO pools or different contributors within the Cardano ecosystem in order to incentivize a fair distribution. Jumping into the actual rewards and some of the bonus that we can expect as a part of the different ISPO NFTs, we have the Matera White, which will give users the ability to receive up to 967 extra Matera tokens per NFT that they hold if certain conditions are met. When it comes to the blue, you'll be able to receive up to 1300 extra Matera tokens, depending on whether or not those conditions are met. And then last but not least for the Matera Black holders, which there's only four of those NFTs available, you'll be eligible to earn up to 165,000 extra Matera tokens, depending on whether or not those conditions are met as a part of their ISPO. Now, when it comes to the actual minting details, let's break those down. So there's going to be two different stages. As a part of the first stage, we can expect that that will kick off on September 29th of 2023. And there's going to be a total supply of 500 of the Matera Whites. They're each going to be going for 135 ADA, which will be a discount of 12% from the actual TGE price. Now, each of these, again, will yield 6000 450 of the Matera tokens. Jumping into stage number two of their NFT sale, this will take place after stage one is complete. 
And this is going to be the sale of the remaining 1000 of the Matera White NFTs. Now, these will be valued slightly more in terms of ADA. So they'll be worth 150 each. And this will be a discount of 6.33% from the TGE price. Jumping over into their official Twitter, we have a little bit more information surrounding the yield boost that we can expect for Matera White holders. So it states here that they'll be able to receive an additional 15% yield boost for their ISPO. Keep in mind that the mint, again, which will be taking place on September 29th, will be kicking off at 1700 UTC. So when it comes to that, I think that's going to be all the information that I have to share with you guys surrounding the Matera White NFTs. I do want to quickly touch on their recent developments as well as the utility of the actual Matera token. So the Matera token will be a part of all of their tokenized portfolios, which will have a fixed percentage of Matera included, ensuring that the TVL or the total value lock of Matera is a direct percentage of all assets under management of the protocol. Now, with respect to some of their latest developments and advancements over the past couple of months, they did recently release their first ever um, pre prod transaction um, hash on the Cardano network. I'll go ahead and leave the link to that down below if you're interested in finding out more about that. But they're also been working over the past three months in developing alongside MLabs as well as TX Pipe in order to create their first pre prod testnet. Now, their testnet is going to be scheduled for mid October, and you guys can definitely bet that the Matera NFT holders will get first dibs or first access to that once it comes online. So if you are an NFT holder, get ready. The test net will be coming around very, very soon. And again, the team does continue to build with some of their latest transactions being posted on the pre prod and network. I believe that that will bring me to the end here for today's video, breaking down all of the latest news and updates surrounding the Matera protocol and the recent or upcoming launch of their Matera white NFTs. As always, if you guys found this particular video to be helpful, I would appreciate you if you could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions for me surrounding Matera or Cardano in general, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That said, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.